I'm Shomik and I'll be presenting our work Interpretability Techniques for Deep Learning Based Segmentation Models. I have no financial interest to declare. Deep learning based methods are widely proposed for various applications, including for medical imaging. But most of these methods are black box in nature. For clinicians to trust such models and to make them part of daily clinical routines, it is very important to understand why a model is giving a certain prediction. Understanding this why can help us to predict when a model might fail, can help us learn more about the data, about the problem, and also can help build trust in such models to be used in high-risk environments. The workflow of interpretability starts with the world of data. Black box models learn from the given data set. Then interpretability methods are applied to those models to open the black box to humans, to give us the answer of this big why. There are many libraries out there dealing in interpretability and explainability. We have created a pipeline for PyTorch combining some of these libraries named Torch Esegeta, which in Italian means interpreter of sacred texts. This pipeline provides a plug and play interface to run interpretability and explainability methods on given models. This will soon be available on my GitHub. More than 35 interpretability and explainability methods are already been implemented in this pipeline. Further methods will be implemented in the near future. These methods work by default with classification models. To work with segmentation models, a model wrapper has been used here, where the input image is supplied to the model and the model provides the segmentation output. The pixel scores for all pixels predicted as each class are summed to generate a tensor with a single value for each class, and this is the output of the model wrapper. This pipeline has initially been evaluated by applying four different interpretability methods to a model. Guided backpropagation, deconvolution, and integrated gradients are three of the model attributions which tell us the focus area of the overall network. Moreover, a layer-wise guided backpropagation was used to understand the focus area of each layer of the model. We have used the unit multi-scale supervision with deformation model from the DS6 paper, where the model's task is to segment vessels from TOF MRAs. The model was trained with seven Tesla TOF MRA with 300 micrometer resolution. The inference and then interpretability were performed using 1.5 Tesla TOF MRA with 450 micrometer resolution from the ICSI dataset. Here is an example of an input volume from the dataset used in this work shown with the help of the maximum intensity projection and using a montage of a few slices. Now let's have a look at the interpretability results. First, using the guided backpropagation algorithm. The red dots signify the focus area of the network. The more intense red is, the more focus the network gave on that region. It can be observed that the primary focus of the network was many times outside the vessels, even on the skull. Next, using deconvolution, which provided results very similar to the results of guided backpropagation. The last model attribution methods used here was the integrated gradients. Here is an interpretability result obtained from this algorithm. This provided a bit more detailed information regarding the focus areas. And finally, let's have a look at the layer-wise attributions obtained using guided backpropagation. Here, first three results are from contracting part of the unit and the next two are from the expanding path. The final image is the output of the model. All of these are maximum intensity projections of the results. It can be observed that the network initially focused outside the brain, then the second layer focused on the whole brain, followed by the third layer, which focused mostly on the brainstem region. The focus of the fourth and the fifth layer was somehow distributed all over the image. Now to conclude, here we have presented the Torch Esegeta pipeline for interpretability and explainability of deep learning models, including for segmentation. As initial experiments, unit MSS with deformation model from the DS6 paper was used and the model's focus areas were explored. Three of the model attribution methods explored here have attributed similar focus areas, mostly agreeing with each other. It is noteworthy that the focus area of the network didn't correlate with the vessels rather than focusing on 
posterior region of the brain. And finally, the focus areas of the individual layers of the network were shown here using layer attribution. Thank you so much for your attention and please feel free to contact me for any questions or feedback.